What are the craziest exoplanets in the universe? Some planets are insane. Whether they are the hottest planet, the coldest, the windiest, or the planet with the biggest rings, there are many fascinating worlds in our galaxy. Today I will be offering a glimpse into our mysterious universe and taking you on a cosmic journey. So, let's begin. Off to a steamy start, we have the hottest planet in the galaxy discovered so far. This planet is so hot that it is hotter than the surface of the sun. This is because this world is extremely close to its host star, and its year is only equivalent to 1.5 Earth days. It is slowly being enveloped by its star and is 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. In comparison, the average temperature of Venus is 834 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a huge difference. Because of this, it will always be an incredibly interesting planet to learn about. It would be remiss of me not to mention the coldest planet in the universe. Unlike the hottest planet, the coldest isn't much colder than the coldest in our solar system at negative 369 degrees Fahrenheit on average. In comparison, Uranus is the coldest in our solar system and has an average temperature of negative 320. Well, that's enough about temperatures. Now let me set the scene for the biggest planet in the galaxy, and after that, the smallest. All planets are certainly not created equal. As you might imagine, the biggest exoplanet known so far is bigger than Jupiter, which as you know can fit 1,300 Earths inside of it, and is 89,000 miles in diameter. The biggest exoplanet is 1.6 times bigger than our biggest planet, or 140,000 miles in diameter. For even more perspective of how big this exoplanet is, about 24,500 Mercuries could fit inside Jupiter. But that is just Jupiter. If you did the calculations, you would know that approximately 39,200 Mercuries could fit inside the biggest planet in the galaxy discovered so far. Anyway, now let's turn to the smallest exoplanet. The smallest planet discovered so far isn't too small, being 35% the size of Earth, or smaller than Mercury, but slightly bigger than our moon. Even if Pluto were a planet instead of a dwarf planet, it wouldn't hold the crown for the smallest. The next stop on our cosmic tour is the windiest planet ever discovered. Before I say that, though, for context, I will compare it to the windiest in our solar system, Neptune. Its wind speeds can reach up to 1,500 miles per hour. Now you might be thinking, how can any planet be windier than that? In comparison to the windiest exoplanet, Neptune's wind speeds seem slow. That is because wind speeds on that exoplanet can reach up to 5,400 miles per hour winds, moving from the day side of the planet to the night side. As we explore this fascinating realm of intriguing exoplanets, we have the exoplanet with the biggest rings. As an obvious comparison, Saturn has the biggest rings in our solar system, with the size of its rings being 170,000 miles in diameter. That may seem like a lot, and it is. What if I told you that its rings are 200 times bigger than Saturn's? Can you imagine what that planet would look like from a million miles away? Moving on to the oldest known planet in the universe. The oldest planet is located 12,700 light years away from us and is the oldest exoplanet at 12.7 billion years old, which is only a billion years younger than the universe itself. That itself is insane. But there is something else about this exoplanet that is riveting. A year for this planet is a whopping hundred Earth years. I know what you're thinking. A planet that has a year of 100 Earth years means they're so far from its star 
So what's the planet that is farthest from its host star? Fascinatingly, this exoplanet is located 2,000 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, or 2,000 astronomical units away from its star. In comparison, Neptune, which is the farthest planet from the Sun, is 30 astronomical units away from the Sun. Next, you guessed it, I will now say the planet closest to its star, which is mind-boggling. But before I do that, I would like to ask if you could like and subscribe to this channel. All right, let's not waste a single second to get to the closest exoplanet to its star has a year or orbit of 4 hours and 18 minutes. Yes, you heard me right. That means that if you lived in this world, your birthday would occur every four hours. For a perspective of just how short this is, the planet closest to the sun is Mercury, which has a year of 87 days. It is worth noting that there is an exoplanet, albeit a waiting confirmation, which has a year that is four minutes shorter than the current record holder. But since its confirmation is not yet completed, it doesn't hold the crown yet for the planet closest to its star. Finally, I will mention the exoplanet that is farthest from Earth, and then the closest. Before I tell you just how far the farthest exoplanet is from Earth, I will now say how long it would take to get to this planet if you are traveling at 20,000 miles per hour. The answer is a colossal 930 million years to get to this exoplanet, which is crazy. Anyway, for this spot, there are two planets which are both about 27,700 light years away from Earth. And as you can see from how long it takes to get to these planets, that is unfathomably far from our home planet. At last, we have the closest planet to Earth, and that is Proxima Centauri b, and 4.3 light years away from Earth. Now, even though this is the closest exoplanet to Earth, it would still take 19,000 to 76,000 years to get to our neighboring solar system. And yes, in case you're wondering, this exoplanet does have the possibility of having life. Thank you for embarking on this intergalactic adventure with me. And if you want to learn about a solar system that could have life, click on the video here on screen. And please subscribe for more content like this.